good YouTube feature 22 JS back at you with another video if you aren't already I want you guys to stop take the time out sub up to the channel drop a like on this video and also make sure you follow me on Instagram and on trade block at future 22 JS the shoes that I have for you guys today is a unique shoe one of the most hated shoes of 2023 as far checking out the box as you guys can see we have a very different box this is a collab between Air Jordan BBS and Union a lot of pictures throughout the entire box the Union Lolo on one side and Bethany's Beauty Supply on the other label reads Air Jordan 1 retro high OG SP the colorway is sale neutral gray and muslin and here we have the Air Jordan 1 high OG G Union BBS Summer of 93. This shoe released on August 24th on Union's website and they also released on August the 26th via Sneakers app for a retail price of $200. So this shoe is to signify the union between a married couple, Mr. Chris Gibbs and Miss Beth Gibbs. And Chris Gibbs is the owner of the brand Union. They have a lot of boutiques that originated in Los Angeles. This is the shoe that was highlighted in the Union BBS collab. There was also an Air Jordan 1 Elevate for the women's side plenty of apparel to go along with both of them. Union has been dropping a lot of collabs with Nike and Jordan Brown maybe about four or five years now. BBS which signifies Bethy's Beauty Supply is owned by Miss Beth Gibbs. Chris and Miss Bethany both met in the summer of 1996 and that's where the whole inspiration comes from. So the idea was dope. I love the fact that they actually gave a married couple the opportunity to showcase both of their brands on one shoe. Well on two shoes that was very fine so let's get into the details starting at the bottom of the shoe we have very heavily dark cell coming up into the midsole we also have another cell is not the same tone as the one at the bottom cell at the bottom is more so to match the big weave that's going throughout the weave is supposed to signify the union between both Chris and Beth Gill a nice wool gray swoosh that's made up of a real light suede looking at the toe box the leather is perforated so that it could appear as if the weave is actually hard holding the top part of the toe box down. I really love on how to cut around all of the leather has this gold tint to it. Probably one of the only things that makes the shoe really pop other than the big weave that's going through the middle. We have an emerald stitch wrapping around the top. This stitch is to commemorate the first Air Jordan 1 Union collab that released back in 2018. And by the way, the Storm Blue pair is one of my all time grills. It's something that I really have to get in the collection. I was so close on Union website the day that they released but I got cart jacked five six years later that's a three thousand dollar shoe but it is what it is. Hopefully one day I'll be able to add it to the collection. We have this exposed tone and the exposed foam has the same gold tint that's highlighted on the edges of the leather. Very nice touch. On the back heel, we have the BBS logo stitched in the same emerald stitching that's wrapping around the collar. On the ankle collar is a wolf gray suede and interior around the top with an abnormally bigger Air Jordan logo that's debossed on the side in gray. The shoe only comes with one set of pair of laces and those are a pair of gold laces. Well, I know it's somebody out here that has intent on getting the emerald green laces to make this shoe pop. That would be something that me personally I would go for. So that basically sums up the review in the comment section below you guys. Let me know what you think about these. There's a lot of love hate that goes on around this shoe and it should be something that a lot of Air Jordan 1 fans should want to actually put in their collection. Me personally, I love the shoe. Love the idea. I just feel like the colorway is trash. Maybe in more of a red or they could have done a Chicago color block and we done got almost two or three Chicago ones within the past eight months anyway. If this was a different colorway, this would be a better shoe. But this is still a nice shoe to cop, especially for the price that it's at. You're basically paying maybe after fees or whatever, maybe 20 to 30 more dollars over retail anyway. With Union Shoes, it's hit or miss. And they hit with the idea, but they just miss with the color blocking. As far as another white white and sale and gray shoe. I don't think I need that in the collection. In the comment section below, you guys let me know what you feel about them. If you copped them or if you're gonna make a play for them, let me know what are your true thoughts about the Air Jordan 1 High OG Summer of 96. So that sums up the review. My name is Future22JS and if you don't know, please know that it's no selling to your inner potential. This was my review of the Air Jordan 1 High OG Young BBS slash Jordan brand collab Summer of 96 colorway. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next video. Be sure to dream with your eyes open and always remember that your fear ends when your faith begins. Peace.